हेलो चिल्ड्रन वेलकम टू अनदर सेशन ऑफ साइंस क्लास फोर टूडे वी विल अंडरस्टैंड लेसन एट एंड विल सॉल्व एक्सरसाइज ऑफ लेसन एट दिस लेसन विल हेल्प यू टू आइडेंटिफाई एंड लर्न अबाउट द ऑर्गेन्स दैट मेक अप द ह्यूमन सर्क्यूलेटरी सिस्टम एंड एक्सेट्ररी सिस्टम as you know your heart lungs and bones are just a few of the parts that make up your organ system now what is an organ system an organ system is a group of organs and body parts that work together to accomplish a common goal and to perform different function in our body like skeletal muscular nervous respiratory digestive circulatory all are example of our different organ system now let's understand circulatory system the circulatory system is the body system that moves blood round the body the heart and all blood vessels make up the circulatory system so the circulatory system is an organ system that helps to transport substances inside our body and this system consists of heart blood and blood vessels so let's understand heart blood and blood vessels in detail do you want to know why does our heart beat faster when we exercise or we run or do you know why heart also runs fast when we are scared or excited so our heart beat fast when our body needs more oxygen and our heart has to work hard to supply it and our heart is a part of the circulatory system so do you want to know more about the heart and circulatory system so let's understand heart blood blood vessels and circulatory system in detail but what is heart so the heart is a muscular organ that pumps blood to all parts of the body and it is situated in the chest just behind and slightly toward the left left of the breast bone so the heart is a muscular organ that pumps blood into the larger blood vessels which branch into smaller ones to reach all the organs of human body and the heart also receive bloods from all the organs of the body and it roughly measures the size of close fist means your heart is muscles about the size of your fist so the human heart is one of the most important organ responsible for sustaining a healthy life the human heart functions throughout a person's life span and is one of the most hardest working muscle in the human body now let me tell you some functions of heart the function of the heart in any organism is to maintain a constant flow of blood throughout the body in any organism in animals or in humans and it replenishes oxygen and circulate nutrients among the cells and tissues and one of the primary function of the human heart is to pump blood throughout the body 
then blood delivers oxygen glucose and other component to various parts of the body including the human heart even the heart also ensures that blood pressure is maintained in the body and the heart works all the time pumping blood through the network of blood vessels which are arteries and veins the number of times a heart beats in a minute is called the heart rate or pulse we can feel the pulse in our body at those places where an artery passes close to the skin feel your pulse by placing two fingers on your wrist a doctor a doctor uses a stethoscope to listen the heart beat when we do some physical activity like exercise more blood has to be sent to the muscles and the rate increase now let's understand what is blood and what does it do so blood is a transport liquid pumped by the heart to all parts of the body after which it is returned to the heart to repeat the process blood is needed to keep us alive and it brings oxygen and nutrients to all the parts of the body so they can keep working and blood carries carbon dioxide and other waste materials to different parts like lungs kidneys and digestive system to be removed from the body so blood is a red color fluid that flows through the blood vessels from the heart to all the parts of the body and then back to the heart it transport nutrients absorb from the food oxygen carbon dioxide and water inside the body even it also transport the waste product produced in the body to the excretory system so that they can be removed from the body now let's understand what is blood vessels so blood vessels are thin tube like structure that run through the entire body to transport blood and blood vessels that take blood away from the heart are arteries and arteries get smaller as they go away from the heart and the smaller arteries that connect to capillaries are also blood vessels and blood vessels that take blood toward the heart are veins and veins get bigger as they go towards the heart so blood vessel are thin tube like structure that start from the heart and run through the entire body forming a network and they carry blood from the heart to all the parts of the body and from different parts of the body back to the heart capillaries go between arteries and veins and capillaries are quite thin so the blood vessels are of three types arteries veins and capillaries so arteries are type of blood vessels which carry blood from the heart to different parts of the body and veins are 
टाइप ऑफ ब्लड वेसल्स विच कैरी ब्लड फ्रॉम डिफरेंट पार्ट ऑफ द बॉडी टू द हार्ट एंड कैपिलरीज आर द स्मॉलेस्ट ब्लड वेसल्स मैनी कैपिलरीज री यूनाइट टू फॉर्म विंस एंड दीज कैपिलरीज हेल्प इन द एक्सचेंज ऑफ गैसेज वॉटर एंड न्यूट्रिय बिटवीन द ब्लड एंड द टिश्यूज एंड आर्टरीज आर मोस्टली रेड इन कलर एंड विंस आर मोस्टली ब्लू इन द कलर Now let's understand what is excretory system. So the excretory system is a collection of organs with the main function of excretion or the process of disposing waste from the body. And there are few main functions of this system like it eliminate waste product in the body such as urea and other waste product and this waste products are excreted from the body through urine the excretory system consists of a pair of kidney a urinary bladder a pair of tubes called ureters and urethra so let's understand them in detail first organ is kidney so the kidneys are the main organ of excretory system and each individual has a pair of kidneys located on each side of the spine at the level of liver and the kidneys are the primary organs of urinary system the kidney are the organ that filter the blood removes the waste and excrete the waste in the urine so these are the function of kidneys and they are the organ that perform the function of the urinary system even the other components are accessory structures to eliminate the urine from the body and they are like washing machine for the blood in the body so the kidneys filters the blood and take out all the waste in the blood so that is the function of kidney and afterward the kidneys send the waste to the bladder in the form of urine now let's understand ureter so it is a small tube about 25 cm long that carries urine from the kidney to urinary bladder it is a muscular tube and your kidneys make urine by filtering waste and extra water from your blood the urine travels from the kidney to the bladder in two thin tubes which are called ureter and the ureter are about 8 to 10 inches long now let's understand urinary bladder so the urinary bladder is a temporary storage for urine and the function of this urinary bladder is to collect and store urine from the kidneys until it can be excreted out of the body and the bladder can hold a considerable amount of urine which allows the kidneys the ability to continue filtering the blood even when an organism cannot urine for example during sleep the bladder must store extra urine and this allows an organism to rest without needing to urinate now the final passage 
for the flow of urine which is urethra which is thin tube which takes urine stored in the bladder out of your body and the main function of this organ which is urethra is transportation of urine out of the body means final excretion of urine from the body so kidneys are bean shaped structure that act like filters to collect harmful waste such as urine and excess salt from the blood and ureters are a pair of tubes that carry this waste from the kidney to the urinary bladder and urinary bladder stores the entire until it is released from the body and urinary bladder stores the urine until it is released from the body and urethra is a tube that lets out the urine from urinary bladder and removes waste from the body now let's understand question 1 fill in the blanks with the correct words first question dash first option o r g a n i s m s organism second option o r g a n organ s y s t e m s system organ system next w o r k work t o g e t h e r together s o s o t h a t that o u r r b o d y body c a n can f u n c t i o n function n o r m a w l y normally so the question is dash work together so that our body can function normally answer is organ system work together so that our body can function normally now second question t h e the dash first option c i r c u l a t o r y circulatory e x c r e t o r y excretory next s y s t e m system h e l p s helps t o 2 T R A N S P O R T transport S U B S T A N C E S substances W I T H I N within T H E the B O D Y body. So the question is the dash system helps to transport substances within the body. answer is the circulatory system helps to transport substances within the body next question dash first option h e a r t heart b l double o d blood i s is article a f l u i d fluid T H A T that I S is C A R R I E D carried B Y by B L double O D blood V E double S E L S vessels T O two A double L all P A R T S parts O F of T 
एच ई द बी ओ डी वाई बॉडी सो द क्वेश्चन इज डैश इज अ फ्लूड दैट इज कैरीड बाई ब्लड वेसल टू ऑल पार्ट ऑफ द बॉडी आंसर इज ब्लड इज अ फ्लूड दैट इज कैरीड बाई ब्लड वेसल टू ऑल पार्ट ऑफ द बॉडी नेक्स्ट टी एच ई द डैश फर्स्ट ऑप्शन C I R C U L A T O R Y circulatory second option E X C R E T O R Y excretory S Y S T E M system I S is A N N O R G A N organ S Y S T E M system T H A T that H E L P S helps I N in G E D T I N G getting R I D rid O F of W A S T E S waste F O R M E D form I N S I D E inside O U R or B O D Y body the dash system is an organ system that helps in getting rid of waste formed inside our body so answer is the excretory system is an organ system that helps in getting rid of waste formed inside our body now next t h e the f o r m a t i o n formation o f of u r i n e urine t a k e s takes P L A C E place I N N T H E the dash first option H E A R T heart second option K I D N E Y S kidneys so the question is the formation of urine takes place in the dash answer the formation of urine takes place in the kidneys now let's see question 2 match the following column a first c i r c u l a t o r y circulatory s Y S T E M system circulatory system. As you know, the circulatory system is an organ system that helps to transport substances inside our body. So answer is option C from column B. transport of substances so you have to match circulatory system with transport of substance now second from column a is e x c r e t o r y excretory s y s t e m system excretory system so as you know that it is process by which waste get removed from our body so answer is option d r e m o v a l removal o f of w a s t e s waste removal of waste now third from column a is a r t e r i e s arteries a n d and v e i n s veins arteries and veins so as you know arteries veins and capillaries are the three types of blood vessels which means which are thin tubes that run 
through the entire body to transport blood so as arteries and veins are example of blood vessels here answer is option b blood vessel now fourth from column a is k i d n e y s kidneys so as you know the formation of urine takes place inside the kidneys so answer is option e u r i n e urine f o r m a t i o n formation urine formation now fifth from column a h e a r t heart so as you know heart is a muscular organ that pumps blood to all parts of the body so answer is option a p u m p i n g pumping o r g a n organ pumping organ so today we have learned about circulatory system which is an organ system that helps to transport substances inside our body and this system consists of heart blood and blood vessels what is heart so heart is a muscular organ that pumps blood to all parts of the body and what is blood so blood is a fluid that is carried by blood vessel to all parts of the body and what is blood vessels so blood vessels are thin tubes that run through the entire body to transport blood the circulatory system is the body system that moves blood around the body the heart and all blood vessels make up the circulatory system so the circulatory system is an organ system that helps to transport substances inside our body and this system consists of heart blood and blood vessels then we have learned about excretory system which is an organ system that helps in getting rid of waste form inside our body and this system consists of a pair of kidneys a urinary bladder a pair of tube called ureter and urethra and what is the function of excretory system that the formation of urine takes place inside the kidney then urine contains harmful waste product form inside the body so ureters carry all that urine from the kidney to urinary bladder and the urine which is stored in the urinary bladder is excreted through urethra out of your body and your kidneys make urine by filtering waste and extra water from your blood the urine travels from the kidney to the bladder in two thin tubes which are called ureter so the urinary bladder is a temporary storage for urine and the function of this urinary bladder is to collect and store urine from the kidneys until it can be excreted out of the body and the bladder can hold a considerable amount of urine which allows the kidneys the ability to continue filtering the blood even when an organism cannot urine for example during sleep the bladder must store extra urine and this allows an organism to rest without needing to urinate